Okay. People might be wondering, what is this AI they're talking about? Well, Phil, yeah. what is this AI we're talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Letter A in the letter I. <laughs> uh, so funny. Um, so artificial intelligence. So I guess there's there's good AI and there's bad AI, right? Like, um, would you or was that not a right true statement? What would you say about that? I'd say definitely there's AI used for good and AI used for bad. Yes. So I've seen Galactics use AIs for monitoring people and stuff like that, but it's more like light. It's not machinery. Like we've seen in the collective consciousness what I would consider um, bad AI or like machine-like um, etheric um, objects that are, are manipulating um, could be doing things. We don't want to freak people out, of course, but um, I would consider that non-serving artificial intelligence, right? So... We were going to go into consciousness and we we're going to do a couple of things. Um, your idea, Phil, I think that was a great idea. Do you want to elaborate what your plan was for that part of it? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> what it is in the last, last couple of years, people have been getting implants. Some of the implants have been through things they've been having. I can't say it. Yet. Or they've been just being targeted mainly because of their power. So these implants either track them or they, uh, they take their soul energy. And he, most of the, a lot of these implants are from uh, the Orion uh, region, uh, one of the planets on there. And that, my plan is to send a frequency that resonates with these implants to dissolve them by going through the, uh, the light grid of consciousness and sending everybody these this frequency that will hopefully dissolve them and somehow if we can find a way of actually keeping this frequency going so they can't put them back in in a week or two but it, it will send it will give them a problem it'll give them a big problem it'll be like 1999 and all the lights go out <laughs> but he didn't go out <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah that's a great idea so basically an understanding that everything is consciousness including the grids what we would be doing is we'd be merging with like the solar grid, which is, is really high vibrational field, putting a frequency through for dissolving any kind of implants that anybody has, um, which will be an energetic freedom for a lot of people. Right. I think that's a great idea. I, I, I do think what you said, I think the frequency should be connected to the crystal. So dimension. Beings, yeah. Dimension, yeah. Yeah. We should, mm -hmm. That's what I was getting to. Um, and we might go in and we might just um, also um, remove some of um, power down, power down the non-serving kind. So whatever, let's call them um, polarity forces have put into place for manipulation using their technology, we would want to render that um, null, basically. I mean, we don't want to go in and take out serving AI that is actually helping people, you know, that is from, from whatever, but we, we definitely want to remove anything that is been put in place. That's not from, you know, beings who have the humanity's vested interests at heart. Right. So, um, you know, a lot of people get, caught up in artificial intelligence um, so let's just see let's do that first so let's um we'll um connect our pillars of light we'll go into crystalline source self merge with our crystalline source selves likely go into the crystalline dimension um we'll get information as we go um so let's just go ahead and i was watching let's take a minute to connect connect at higher self level okay
Humans of light. Universal self. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think of that. Um, okay. If you're watching it, just do some breathing exercises if you want to join us. Right, big breaths in. Okay, just quickly go through this. Okay, we're also going to create sacred space, columns of light all around us, all the way up to source. Make sure our channel is completely clear, pure, and shielded. All right, I'm just tapping into my universal self to get some information as well. The, uh, the, the other one, the implant one, we need to go to the crystalline dimension, collect the frequency in our crystalline beings that we merge to and join the consciousness, actually merge into it. So that's the information I've just been given. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we're just going to tune into crystal dimension. Go right into a crystalline core of self as well. Maybe just breathe in the golden light into your heart, just with intention. Place your awareness into the crystalline source within self. Just go into the crystalline core of self. Merge those frequencies in united fields. So we'll combine fields now, unity fields. So bring the frequency and intensity up. I have the solar Rishi here. Go into crystalline dragon energy. Okay. All right, so we'll call on the crystalline dragons to be with us as well. Rainbow dragon. Mm -hmm. I haven't got a name for him yet. So. I actually see us being joined by a fleet of dragons covered in crystals. Mm -hmm. So it's like instead of feathers or fur, they have crystals. Pretty cool. That's semi physical and semi crystal. Mm. Like we, we need to connect to the consciousness of the planet to show them what we need to do. We need to show them these implants or feel these implants and they'll give us the energy that we need to dissolve them. Okay. It's very warm. Yeah. Crystalline grids. So actually, I'm gonna hang out at this in this crystalline planet here for this part here. I feel like we can uh, just in pure crystalline source light, basically it makes it easier. Now we're just gonna connect. So there's like um, the crystalline dragons surrounding the planet, right? Surrounding the grids, and. Um, We'll tap into their hearts through here and then where they are at in the grids here. 
We're going to get them to attune to higher dimensions. Get them to tune to the solar grids here. Okay, so we got the energetic ports that go from the solar grids down to uh, Gaia. Solar light. Solar light is needed for this. Just went into the sun. I've, I've actually connected to the gatekeepers. Did we gatekeepers? I never knew that. <coughs> of the grid, right. grid yeah, gatekeepers. We'll, we'll need everybody's involvement. So we'll call on um, the, the, the grid gatekeepers. We'll call also on the gatekeepers of the realms, um, the Elohim, the archangels, the um, Mother, Father, God. We got to get all to bless this, to bless this. And through Connected Hearts, the Dragon Collective as well, and Solar Rishi, uh, the Solar Rishi are here, I, I, they just came. Um, connected Fields, Global Consciousness. The Fields of Light from the consciousness of the collective on the grids, how they look on the grids. Um, so there's different layers of the grids, different frequencies where everybody is at. Pull them up higher. It will cleanse them. Pull the frequencies up higher. Pull everyone up higher. Okay. Um, so just with intention, we're just going to bring the frequencies up um, of the, there's a displacement of frequency on the grid. So we're just going to move them all up. We're going to bring higher frequencies down and pull them up to this level of galactic consciousness or the galactic grids, if you want to call it that. Bring up frequencies across the planet, collectively, globally. Okay. Higher, 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 higher. Now we'll bring the solar grids down, merge the fields with the collective consciousness. We are, Dave, we are under attack, you know. I don't know if you know this. Well, that's why we put sacred space up. So, okay, so now let's bring in. Like to assist, we would like to assist. Light beings are coming in here from the sun, from the central sun. I'm connecting here, connecting fields, white light beings. Unity rays through here to the Dragon Collective, into the solar grids. So central sun, like basically rainbow rays coming down into the dragons, into the solar grids. So set the intention here to make this light continuous to dissolve any implants, to dissolve any attachments or implants with every person. So light streams to every person the collective consciousness is now higher in vibration, dissolving all implants, dissolving all chips, anything globally. This light stream's coming down, dissolving it all. Dave, dissolving it, but also sending light to, into it. Yeah. As, as it dissolves. Right. 
So if there's any frequencies that are attached to it, the light will go to those frequencies as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that <clears throat> Okay. Turn in higher. Higher cells of the light beams. Higher cells of the light beams. While we're in the consciousness, also send a frequency out to stop because some people are, are locked in control in their brain, the brain's got control. So we can dissolve that as well. The implants have made control programming in the brain. What is it? The future timelines. Okay, so they're bringing it into timelines now. So they're bringing in timelines, future, and parallels here. So we're just going to go ahead and connect the frequency to the timelines as well to dissolve it throughout all timelines or all realities. And in the future as well, so we'll assist in the future. Acknowledge the gatekeepers, acknowledge, accept eternal flame. It's forgive and release. We're sending some, some beings up to source right now that are not serving the light. And they are going, all of them, all of them, up to the source. Purity rays coming in. I must understand the heart. Um, why this was put in by these beans. Um, diminishing spirits. So you see, is to heal that within themselves. Let's heal them. God, God, him. Him. Universal. All right, we'll just send in. I'll call the Divine Mother here just to, just to heal the hearts of all who put these in place, to forgive them, to release them across all time and space, to forgive them. To release them, to heal their hearts. All right, I'm just going to tune in from here. Dave, I've been told if we use our prana energy, our life force, which is mingled with our crystalline energy, we can actually shield people from the implants by sending the energy into the light grid. Yeah. Create a, um, a grid of shielding now that the grids are merged. Hmm. Okay, well, what we can do is we can create life force. All right, so. This will stop the implants getting through that people's oil field. Okay. Well, it should do. Yeah. At the collective level, so that the collective consciousness, so we'll just add on like a shielding. 
onto the grid here for the collective um, fields. What is basically we're upgrading people's shields um, for those who cannot, who are not aware of how to do this. I feel a lot of anger around this. <laughs> do they? Uh... Don't this think that they're will... very happy with this. Of course not. We're changing the matrix. Yeah. It's okay though. It's all destined. Okay. There's a big upgrade coming in right now on the fields. It's massive. Uh, we have all levels of source, light beings, galactics, and us and everybody who's watching, participating in this universal upgrade right now, specifically for Earth, though, and all dimensions and realities of it. I see it now. These machine type things, they're being destroyed. They're being destroyed. They're being destroyed. They're being removed. They are being dissolved by light, um, rendering them inactive across the planet. It is all being done, um, including this upgrade at the same time. So this is going to be make a big difference in just the sovereignty of the, of the people's energy across the planet. So much rainbow light and golden light, um, blue. Um, we have so many people helping us here. This is all these, this everything, all, everything, all that is, is helping this right now. Every light being you can think of sending energy through here, updating the galactic core on the grids. The systems on Earth, um, the universal realms are assisting uh, universal higher self level, and that grids as well. I open again. This is a big. This is a big update coming through, man. Like the energy that's coming through this crystal I got in my hand right now. And I can see all the light streams and that's coming in with our connected fields and everybody who's watching. It's just, it's, it's, an, it's continuous and it's a lot of uh, high, high energies, high advanced programs, um, consciousness. Um, it's, it's a removing, they were removing an old grid and they were replacing it with a sovereignty grid. Um, it is, what are they removing? It is an old system of control. Um, it is, it is man, it is not made by source. It was made by, by beings and they made a grid and it's being removed. And it is, there's a new energy coming through that is the source to replace this Interesting. Wow. This is going to make such a big difference. See, it's going through all dimensions to do this. This is not, we're not just doing this for Earth. This is all like dimensions all realities because you, you got if you think of it in terms of timelines and there's like millions of timelines happening at the same time it's it's upgrading it for all timelines so i can actually see this light going through all the way through the grids all the way through earth into all dimensions of earth um yeah it's, it's like a wave energy wave you can see that was that old grid done by the dark ones I yes it was yeah. The 
establishing new light centers all across the planet right now. This will lift the, the consciousness level of everybody on earth um, as well. Essentially what we're really doing, we were lifting up their frequency so that it would, these energies can come down and dissolve all of this. And then it turned out to be a whole grid upgrade on a, an old grid removal, um, crystalline energies, but there is also higher source energies. Uh, we have universal support from multi-universe level, uh, as well as the light being collective, which are beings of light um, and their higher selves. Um, it's just really interesting to see how much is happening here in this one thing. Um, Okay, it's a massive clearing happening at the same time. Um, as the grid's getting removed, there's 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 entities that were reliant on this grid. Beings, um, they're just being flushed out, basically, um, cleaned out back to source. Um, or that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, they're not, they're just being removed, essentially. And all is upgraded. Okay. The Divine Mother is blessing this. She's blessing this. So there's going to be a lot of relief in people's fields um, from this. There's, people are going to feel just relieved. Um, like, like a sort of like a freedom. Um, the energies of sovereignty, the energies of higher energy, the energies of consciousness. It will be felt it will be felt like a freedom um even at a collective level even people who aren't even watching this um are just all of a sudden gonna notice like there's breathing room or like something that has been lifted like a weight from the collective so that is what people will notice in the days ahead who didn't even watch this? Well, I've been told, Dave, some of the actual, where the implants are being made, some of the buildings have, uh, have really been, uh, you know, kind of messed up the um the light beings yeah, the, who are, are assisting with this right now they're just connecting heart fields at the moment just to really bring in a healing a healing of sorts uh, a healing of consciousness oh because there is betrayals related to this where we are healing their wounds related to these insertions, these chips, these burdens of energies need to be healed. And, and yeah. also the fear that they were sending to them. They were sending fear. And they weren't just taking the soul energy, they were sending them fear. That's what's being removed. So not only were they taking the energy of people, they were actually controlling them with fear. They, they were creating the fear. Mm -hmm. This is going to make such a difference. Um, <clears throat> oh, we got to go into the Akash now to release this as from a wound level. So it's going to go to the universal crystalline Akash. And ask Divine Mother 
And if anybody who wants just to forgive all these beings, all these beings, just forgive them to help heal their hearts, forgive them, release them from putting all these controls in, on the, the planet. Just forgive them, release them, heal their hearts, go through the crystalline cash of all, just to forgive and release, to heal the hearts. And with the light being collective and divine mother for healing all wounds in the Akash and all timelines, space, all realities and dimensions, to forgive all, to release all the burdens, just to release them, to release them, to heal the burdens from the collective consciousness, to heal the burdens from the collective consciousness. Clear it, clear it, clear it. Part is done. Now we can just enjoy the energies, I think. Oh, there's an excitement of energy going on now. It's finally, it's like it's finally, that this is finally done, finally. Um, it's gonna release a lot of burdens from, this is a good thing. So I think that part is done. So I'm gonna put my crystal down. So I think that part is done. Connecting with angels at this point here. Having the energies. They're they're just very pleased. They're very pleased. Um, they're just very happy that like we're declaring this essentially. Uh, as behalf of earth amb ambassadors of light, that we're declaring the sovereignty and this peace in the united grids, the united grids, the unity grids, um, all are here to witness, all are here to witness, it is blessed, uh, all levels of light, and it will be, and, and it will continue to be, uh, the new grids. Uh, at, there's lots of grids, mind you. Th this is just a new level of grid creation of the unity grids and field mergers occurred. Um, lower frequencies going higher. Um, revelations of thoughts of higher consciousness are coming in. Uh, profound awareness for all on earth. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, they'll begin to see, they'll begin to feel during this awakening now, um, how much closer they are now to the higher energies. Um, this, so there's a lot that just happened. There was a field merging or frequency lift across the planet, um, an old density grid removed a new unity, uh, well, a newer frequency to the unity grids established, um, witnessed by all, um, the, the dragon collective, the solar Rishi, who the original ones, um, and um, the angels, the light being collective, the universal collectives, um, the higher self levels, and It's like a lift of energy and everyone's going to feel this. Everyone's going to feel this weight is removed, this burden. 
um, it's almost like what you would think of as energetic enslavement um, being neutralized um, across the grids of Gaia. It's probably the best way to describe it. Yeah, this was really important to do this before the shift um, it had to be done. This, this had to have been done before everything can shift. Um, and um, that there's like this piece, this piece in the collective consciousness, um, not chaos. So it's like, um, this like the roots of manipulation being removed so people can just be more happy essentially they just be more happy being in their energy not being manipulated okay. sure. i think it is done i think it's done hmm. I'd like to nice. thank everyone who took that, including the, the crystal dimension. Yeah, I will thank our crystalline selves, universal selves, the light beings, the Elohim, Solar Rishi, the Dragon Collective, the gatekeepers, all who watched, all, all who assisted. Just be grateful for this day of freedom, for this day of freedom. Just another, just another light mission. Nothing serious. David, I was told while doing it, if you play 100,000 hertz, put a crystal on top of the sound, it stops our IT getting attacked. So, because they were trying to attack our, through our IT. Ah, yeah. so, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. The, the pyramid amplifies it into the, uh, into the event. Yeah, it was probably a good thing. I got this um, crazy organite one, right, from uh, Denise Lee. She makes these ones. Look at that beast, wow. eh? Isn't that crazy? That's massive. Yeah. Um, so I think we had some extra. And it just came in the other day. A little extra frequency boosting. It, it lights up. I just got to put batteries in it. Apparently, it lights up. So I picked up some batteries. Get that going soon. Um, yeah, beautiful. That was a good mission. A lot of, a lot of help with that one. That was pretty cool. How you doing, Ronnie? I'm doing good, David. Nice. Can you hear me? Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate the help. Appreciate jumping on with the help. Uh, appreciate the offer. I just, I got the uh, message a little late, but. Oh yeah. Well, you were, it's been pretty crazy. Like uh, before we went live, like I we was just talking in the last 24 hours, um, so many missions have been going on. Just so many. Uh, I don't know if you've been feeling this, like, like you all of a sudden just go into like a trance or all of a sudden, like you just start going into like these thoughts of, of, of light work or something like that. Like, like, a like lot. yesterday. Right. And um, so I, like we're, we're, we are in the dream reality right now, but at the same time, the old one is still like dissolving and there's still these final little things to do before the great, event happens or the god moment or whatever you want to call it and um but the last 24 hour has been heated up mission work like um i'm sure everybody's waking up after 
going to sleep last night feeling maybe even exhausted or like what did i do and just like yeah. like it the heat has been on like we are seriously working around the clock now like big you, time you, you can actually hear the frequency more now well yeah. what, what i get is my physical body may be unaware or i may be unaware but then i hear higher aspects of me are working with other people in other groups all the time oh for sure oh yeah you'll be you'll you'll be even even your aspect now like you'll be jumping all all over the place at sleep especially like i've um i've i've i'm i'm used to like you know every once in a while if energies are big i'll have a nap yesterday they put me into four or five 50 minute sleeps and in each one of them i'm doing some kind of crazy mission it's just such a critical time right now it's such like a pinnacle time in the shift that like the that that everybody's coming together we're all coming together and we're we're just like we're we're taking this we're owning it it's happening we ain't going back and uh like we're, we're tidying up we're tidying up like this this is like tidy up work you know like you know a little bit of clean up on aisle five <laughs> I, I actually got up out of bed in the afternoon so i've been uh doing a lot of, i must have been doing crazy work over now i know we sure. have four hours sleep <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, this is it, man. This is the time. Um, some some big things coming ahead. A lot of people don't believe in the shift because they've heard about it since 2012 and they, they get let down and, and everything. But I mean, it's just. I get a lot of that, too. They've been talking about this forever. It was even before 2012. Yeah. Uh, in, back in the 80s and 90s, they were doing this. Yeah, it's just yeah. you just got to understand it in terms of like it's it's a collective awakening it's like eventually it's like a scale it's like a scale collective awakening and then when enough are awakened and the scale of the unawakened to the awakened goes like this it's it creates this pinnacle moment in consciousness that creates it is an internal thing but it will be supported by external as well i mean there's we're we're above we're below we're within we're without like it, it all happens yeah well um, i heard you talk about yesterday that uh it had, had to be 10 percent, and i'm thinking only 10 percent. that's that felt kind of low to me but you know who knows well things have been happening it how i've how i've thought it was going to happen in that like so there was a point when we were all holding so much light and it was just like, Oh my God, we're just holding so much light. But then as the collective awakens, the light we are holding gets distributed. So some people think, Oh, I'm not connected anymore, but it's just, no, it's just as some of the light that we've been holding is now it's anchored within the masses at a global level. It's not that you're not connected. You just yeah. got to connect again. You know, like it was, we can only hold so much light for so long. And, and then eventually it's, there's going to be that mass awakening and then pe other people are joining the grid. So then the light gets spread out instead of us just holding all of the light. Right. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's been if, if you also yeah. think of the shift, the shift has been happening. So it's not like we're waiting for, you know, a certain balance in the scale or imbalance it's it's happening and people just don't notice it because you it happens in your body in a gentle manner so it's not a it's it's not a big switch so they're going oh they've been talking about this but it hasn't happened but it actually has been happening but mm -hmm. at the rate that our bodies can cope for me it feels like i fill up like a capacitor mm -hmm. and then it when it dissipates when it, it's like a, a shot just boom, out from out from me and it, it's kind of like a relief actually because the energy gets so high and, mm -hmm. and like what happened but it comes back <laughs> oh yeah yeah it's like when you connect into the light you're fully charged um so 
it's no one's not connected. It's just, you know, uh, it's just different now. Reality is different. We're in dream reality now. Um, this global awakening is happening now. The light load is distributed amongst the planet more evenly now as more people are taking on light. And um, like, it's, it's going to get really cool, really cool, really fast. Like at this point, uh, I've already, I already know so many people manifesting stuff like so fast. And um, so it's, but you know, a lot of people are out there like, well, when are my, when's my family going to wake up or when is this going to wake up? When is this show going to, it's, it's not long. It's not long. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Big things are coming real fast. Real hey, fast. Dave, I got the number four. I don't know why. Maybe when, when, I, when I was doing that, I got four. So. When you say four in relation to. Um... I don't know. You didn't tell me why. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me four. Yeah. yeah. It was in well, green. It was in green. Four so. for years. Four, four grids, four layers of consciousness. Four. It was in green, by the way. Or, or, or maybe you're playing golf and you're about to hit the ball, so you're telling everybody to duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I keep hearing four months. What's that? So June, July, August, October. August, September, July, mm -hmm. September, October. Yeah, yeah. There's some big things happening. Um, I, I'm not the only one who has gotten this, but something towards the end of June, um, obviously the summer solstice is around the corner. Um, something, something pretty big collectively, um, could be on Gaia itself in this, in this month. And then, um, um, August, end of July, August, I've been seeing that for quite some time now, probably for about half a year. That's something like a big blast of energy is happening but then i also got the um many years now march april 2023 is is a big event of some kind but you know i don't it could be anything the god moment could be august it could be the end of july for all i know it could it's just a moment where everybody all of a sudden feels god and feels connected like our hearts as light beings we will feel that to such a big point and then if a big inertia of solar light comes in at the same time just to tie it all in um and these galactics start showing up that's fine you know whatever the whatever it is i think it is once we hit this level and boom it goes across that is the the completion in my opinion that is like as done is it's not to think of it as like like there's a map um, and here's destination A and here's destination Z. And then once we get to this destination Z, then we got to build all this earth and do all this other stuff. It's, it's the achievement of collective consciousness. I believe it is the achievement of hitting, ascending a consciousness, of ascending a consciousness globally to the point where all the hearts open. It is the pinnacle of win it is the winning moment it is the finish line and then everything happens after that is is, is a complete new reality for all, everybody on earth you know like it's, so yeah dave yeah. I, I was told it was last november end of november it was the start so it's not like a day it's a it's a we're in it we're, we're in it now it's in it now Oh yeah, we are yeah. in it for sure. Yeah. We're, we're 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 in dream reality now. Like the more yeah. that you're living in your dreams and manifesting, it's going to occur. Um, the shifts are occurring. It's all happening. It's not like it's in an, in an instant, but the, but there will be an instant moment where we hit the critical mass moment, like where the critical mass of the collective heart hits. And I think that is like a finish line of of the achievement of ascending the consciousness on the planet i'm sure of it but but it's still going to cause like there's still going to be lots of people who are going to need rehabilitation and energy healing and going through their trauma their wounds and all that stuff it's just that people aren't going to look at at somebody on the street and think of them somebody who's like a, a bum let's just say it because like people look at and they make terms like that and they say oh they're a bum they're not worth anything i'm above them they should find a job and they make all these judgments just from looking at somebody and that alone hurts the collective consciousness um but i think 
in this pinnacle moment when this happens people won't look at people with that kind of judgment anymore they'll be they'll actually be like realizing that they're just as much as the light as i am and when that when that kind of feeling happens that's when everybody will change the whole structure of systems and support and what matters on the planet instead of having this greed system you know and this fake monetary um, printed money system where there's like one 26 people who have 50 percent of the wealth of the world i mean it's just it's just so silly yeah, i think it's more than that <laughs> yeah 99.9 percent of the wealth yeah uh, yeah what i wanted to say is last november that we had earthquakes in peru and uh, uh er peru and iran are uh, interlinked i don't know if anyone knows that you can always google it and that's when the it, the start of our divines coming if you know what i mean was when them earthquakes erupted in Peru on the 27th of November. And now we're here. So we can only hear the frequencies. We all yeah. There. That's what I got. Like I've I've been seeing this in, in April 2023 for many years now. Like of this big earthquake that happens. But I don't want to scare anybody. <laughs> it's just it's but but these forces that come from the earth when these earthquakes happen, these energies that come up. Um are are very positive, very it's, positive. It's, it's not california though <laughs> sorry sorry it might it might be it might be there's lots of changes that are going to happen on gaia but it's um yeah, it's, lot, it's, as you say dave a lot of people don't realize the release of the energy of the earthquake is ma ma massive really yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then healing the collective and the consciousness, you know, like, so this was a big cleanup job, in my opinion, like we're cleaning up the energies, we're healing the energies of the earth, healing the energies of ourselves, healing the energies of the collective, healing the energies of consciousness, you know, because we played in all this density, and then we had to clean it up. You know, it's like, it's like, you know, you know, your, your, your kids make a big mess, and they got to clean it up eventually. <laughs> and we certainly have made a big mess of this. Earth. <laughs> yeah. I certainly have yeah yeah i have noticed that we a lot of people are getting implants recently and that's because they, they need the energy because they're trying to take our energy so they, this will be big yeah. yeah yeah there's so many evolutions of it eh? so it's upgrading the grids upgrading this remote upgrading um <clears throat> even the 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 dark program and just putting that in control of the light and then now this was the uh upgrading it so we're removing attachments removing the artificial intelligence systems that we're not serving and all that there's just so many different and then it's just as there's so many layers of healing our consciousness within ourselves I and mean, we're going through all these layers embodying all these different aspects of ourselves um universally and and in layers of consciousness and so this we're also doing the the other side of it um because a lot of people and they're right when they say, well, you should just worry about yourself. Definitely. And we have, we have done the work on ourselves and we have worried about ourselves and we have put ourselves first, but there's also the, the, the planet and the, and the energetic systems of the planet that needed to evolve, needed to get healed, needed to regain control from the light perspective that had to happen as well. And it's just, there's a, there's a lot that goes into this whole planetary ascension thing. It's not just, this a uh, couple missions, right? But good work as always. Good work as always. Thank any final, know. any final words, Mister Phil? Number four. Me. Uh, I've had to give me breakfast to me, dog. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was really your uh, me dinner, but I, I got up late. But I, I found the energy. I could see the wave getting through everywhere. I think it was quite fascinating. Yeah. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. that was cool to see for sure. Yeah. And, and awesome. now, and now I'm healing event. I don't have to shift to implants. So hopefully for a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your healing events but, now what, what, be a what, lot easier. Yeah. What I saw, I saw the vision of some of the plasma buildings from the bases underneath or the Orion buildings disintegrating there enough because we sent white light through them and white light is like the opposite of their energies there was a whole network of it i was seeing like um 
these these um, ener energetic, um, if you want to call them robotic, artificial intelligence manipulator technologies, all being disintegrated everywhere. It was everywhere. There was like, there were so many of them. It almost yeah. reminds me of you remember like in the Matrix those machines with the I saw tentacles. That. I saw that. Yeah, you that saw movie. that. I saw that. Yeah, I was thinking this is like the Matrix of film. Yeah, <laughs> but they put in some of the implants. They're the they're, right. They're there yeah, those, the those things. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was quite. Yeah, you saw the same. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there was literally like uh i don't even it was it was there was at least you know a hundred thousand of these things that were all around the planet that were all within the grizz i just saw them starting to dissolve and get taken away and removed and i'm just like holy crap there's a lot of them there's a lot so layers mm -hmm. so a lot of crystal beings just beaming from the the crystal in the foreheads straight into the grids and clearing everything is amazing. Yeah, just something like that. I was saying that, Leslie, when you said the dragons with part crystal, part physical. I've seen, I've, on one of our events, I've seen beings that are part, like, like crystalline, but also physical. And that was quite yeah. amazing for you to see. Yeah. yeah. It was uh, the first. I've seen the, the dragons with the fur and dragons with feathers. Hmm. Uh, just like angels with crystal wings instead of feathers. But it's the first I've seen dragons with um, crystals. covered in crystals. It was, hmm. yeah, it was amazing. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. Love that mission. So good. Yeah, well, I guess good. that's it, guys. I guess that's uh, that's a wrap. Another Another few spiritual dollars to add to the old spiritual bank account. <laughs> Cannot can pay for your, your daughter's nails. <laughs> you know, I'll ask them next time if they take spiritual dollars. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I like that. <laughs> yeah. That's too funny. All right. Well, you guys all have the rest of your good uh, Sunday, whatever you got left of it. You're in, you're in, um, are you in Monday, Leslie, right now? Yes, it's Monday, 12 13. Yeah. Monday, Australia. So enjoy your Monday. Thank you. I might get to sleep first, but yes. <laughs> like to thank everyone watching and taking part. All of you took part. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We do this as a collective. Nice work. Beautiful. This is a good one. All right. We'll see you guys later. Yep. Great. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.